Well, this morning we are continuing to look at a spectacular procedure, proton therapy. Joining us this morning, we have McLaren Proton Therapy Zone, Dr. Christian Hyde. And thank you so much for being here, Dr. Hyde. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you, Blake. You're very welcome. Today we're talking about liver cancer and proton therapy. Liver cancer cases tripling since 1980. Deaths have doubled. It's certainly scary to hear these statistics. So, Dr. Hyde, who would be most at risk to liver cancer and why is it so deadly? Right. So, there's been a big increase in liver disease lately. A lot of people uh, in the baby boomer generation are walking around not knowing that they're carriers of uh, hepatitis, especially hepatitis C, uh, has become a lot more common in the last few decades, also hepatitis B. These and other diseases can cause cirrhosis of the liver, and that's like a disease of chronic inflammation and damage and scarring of the liver. And over time, that those abnormal processes and damages can lead to liver tumors, liver cancer, mm. that can grow and spread and, and damage the liver and eventually proving fatal. And this is one, one of our most sensitive organs, you say? That's why it can be so deadly? Right, so you only get one liver. You know, it's not like kidneys where you have two, and if one gets cancer, you, you remove it, and you're okay, you still have the other one. Mm -hmm. Liver cancer, um, you know, if, it, if it's in certain areas of the liver, it may be inoperable, it might not be surgically removable, and then we have to look at other treatment options like chemotherapy, radiation therapy, proton therapy, is a form of radiation that's more focused and more precise. Very good. So I want to get into symptoms too before we get into any procedures. What are some specific symptoms to watch for? Yeah, so one of the most specific symptoms of liver damage is uh, yellowing of the skin or the eyes. Um, that's called jaundice, yellow jaundice. And that's the sign that something is going wrong with the liver. It's not draining the bile like it should. And it's building up in the bloodstream and showing up um, in the eyes or in the skin. Wow. Always a, a sign you need to get the doctor right away, have that checked out. Yeah, you definitely don't want to mess around with jaundice. Uh, radiation, of course, you said is a treatment option for liver cancer. When would you say that would be the option? Right, so a lot of the patients who get uh, liver cancers already have kind of a, a non-functioning liver. Um, it's been damaged by cirrhosis, um, you know, alcohol, uh, other types of medications, um, hepatitis B and C. So you can't really give up a lot of the liver in these patients. Uh, so the reason why we use radiation is it's non-invasive, it's bloodless. Um, you don't have to worry about patients dying on the table. Um, it's really easy to get patients through this procedure um, because many of, many of them are inoperable and have uh, no other options. Let me share a screen that, that shows a little bit about what I'm what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, this is a picture from a CT scan of the liver, and it shows how proton therapy in this color here, in, in the red, is able to treat the center of the liver. And normally that's a part of the liver that you can't cut out. Uh, you need the center of the liver because that's where the blood vessels come in. It's where the bile drains out, and we really have to be careful around the arteries and the veins and the bile ducts, um, because if you cut those, it can be severe bleeding or the liver can fail. Um, but the proton therapy is able to treat um, pretty much any part of the liver, and it does so in a, in a special way that's different from any other type of radiation in that the beam um, doesn't travel elsewhere in the body. Uh, you don't have to worry about the radiation going to an unintended place like the stomach or the esophagus areas that are that are nearby that we also don't want to damage with radiation treatment. The cool thing about the protons is they go in and they cover the tumor and then they stop. So you don't get a lot of collateral damage to the healthy or diseased parts of the liver that may have been damaged by cirrhosis. Dr. Hyde, I just want to, I'm just curious myself for the uh, the key there and the colors. So the, the deeper the red, the more uh, proton therapy is working in that section? Yes, so we, we see this kind of low dose area in blue. So this, the skin surface isn't getting a lot of radiation, but the cool thing about protons is the deeper they go into the tumor, the more energy they release. It's like, it's like when you go bowling, you throw the ball down the, the bowling alley, and uh, once it gets to the end, it, it releases all its energy, it knocks down the pins. Hopefully, hopefully you win, hopefully our patients win yeah. when we 
when we hit the tumor with the proton therapy. Yeah, getting a strike. Of course, we want to strike out that cancer. Uh, and what would you say the big difference really is in terms of you know regular radiation versus the proton therapy and your patient's quality of life? Yeah, so that's a that's a great question. Um, why why is proton therapy important? Why is it better? So there's actually been a study that kind of compared you know patients who got proton therapy, patients who got X-ray therapy. And the patients who got proton therapy live longer because their livers were less likely to fail. Mm. Um, we know that radiation isn't health food. It's, it's dangerous uh, potentially in all its forms, including proton therapy. So really less is more. Uh, we want to give as, as least amount of radiation as possible. The least radiation is the best radiation. Um, so patients who get proton therapy are more likely to be alive and have a functioning liver uh, after this sort of treatment than the patients who got traditional x-rays. So the McLaren Proton Therapy Center, just one of two in the state, you know, we're really lucky here to have this in our region. How can someone who's recently diagnosed explore treatment options with McLaren Proton Therapy? Sure, so every, everybody's different. Um, really the only way to tell for sure is to have a consultation face-to-face uh, you know, -face with a proton therapy specialist. Not everybody uh, is aware of protons, not everybody knows when to use it. Mm -hmm. So if you or a loved one um, may need radiation treatment or proton therapy, uh, my colleagues and I are available five days a week at the Carmanos McLaren Proton Therapy Center in Flint. Uh, our telephone number is 855-MY-PROTON. Um, that's 855-MY-PROTON um, or 855-697-7686. And we're also online at mclaren.org slash proton therapy, all one word. Very good, Dr. Hyde. Anything else you would like us to know before we go? Um, just take good care of your liver. You only get one. Um, be your healthiest self. Yeah, absolutely. I learned so much today about this. Thank you so much for your time. You bet. Thank you. You're very welcome. For more information, for your, those of you at home, make sure you visit our hot links section on our website, WNEN.com.